Uh, so, into day three of week three. So it's my last day of the sort of higher volume week uh, before I go into the deload week on week four. Um, so I just started off with um, Indian club work. I just felt, uh, you know, I love using the club. So I just did a bit of light club work. Today. I'm just working on a few wrist drills. Um, any of you know any sort of weightlifting history? Tommy Kano was a big advocate of Indian clubs. He, he would use them, not all the time, but a lot of the time he'd do 10 minutes of clubs at the start, uh, before every session. You know, for me, I just love it for sort of shoulder work, coordination, kind of switch on. And it's also like a little yin practice as well, just to be able to focus on that, bit of shoulder, wrists, all the little bits, it's all the patterns and movements that you don't really get to do, uh, especially with barbells. So I just like using them, I think they're fun, I, it's like moving meditation, you really have to switch on, especially if I had a bit of, you know, I can't remember, it was this Thursday, quite a busy morning with work, so I just felt I needed 10-15 minutes just to kind of clear my head and clubs is a sort of great way of doing this. Um, so we got into that, uh, so just doing all different wrist rolls, here we got some heavier chops using the bigger clubs, and these are nice just again open up the shoulders. Uh, through there, um, doing little patterns like you saw in the previous video, just going through that. Did a bit of internal external rotation again. These the clubs are about three kilos, but anyone who's used clubs before will know what three or four kilos feels like. For every kilo, it's a, like a well, it's a, feels like a big jump because the leverage that felt nice just to open up through the shoulder. I'm just doing more shoulder work, especially with my left shoulder is just being a bit grouchy. I've got to get my um, left rotator cuff just feeling that a little bit better and more also my lower traps and mid traps so we're working on that daily then we're going to some front squats so I think here's about 145 um, so the previous week I'd done 145 just for 6 but I was losing the speed whereas this week the speed was better um, I got up I was the speed on these were about 0.5253 and I was trying to go stay above 0.4948 um, so these were good and my depth was a bit crap like I said because I've gone a bit wider this week my groins were pooped um, so my depth just felt rubbish which it was but you just got to crack on with it and just do with what you got I was also really trying to work on looking up as I was descending just to really keep that tightness in my upper back and my erectors again a little more of a logical trick um, and that felt pretty good. So then I think I went 147. I had a bit of a bad set. Uh, so I did it again and then got up to 150 on this one, which felt good. So look, I'm looking up, then tucking my chin in. Again, just working on posterior chain and anterior chain. You, know, you look at like Sarab Maradi, he very upright in his uh, front squat, in his catch position, in his cleans. I'm just trying to imitate a bit of that, whereas the Chinese were looking up. So I'm just working the neck a little bit more. I've been doing a lot of neck training as well in my stretch and move warm ups, which I can show you if you want. Uh, so then got in some clean work. So I had clean and push jerk five times one plus two. I'd done clean and four and I pushed that quite hard. As you saw, so I was pretty tired on this. My upper back was felt pretty mashed. Um, so I'm just playing around with like almost keeping the feet on the spot and then also moving the feet. I think. You know, for heavy work, like proper clean I like to move the feet. The snatch is really important. Where they are. Just have my feet a little bit wider. Um, just keep them there. Uh, I don't feel the need to really open my feet up. I've never been good at opening up my feet. So I'm just screwing it. Whereas clean and jerk, I, you know, I can move my feet that a little bit quicker. Um, but yeah, no, these were looking pretty good. I was drifting and shifting forward just a little bit, which I was mindful of. Um, and then I got up to about 125 on these, uh, which was all right. I wanted to be about 5% less uh, than what I did the day before. Uh, that's what my coach was saying, maximum don't go the same or more. Then just did some Bulgarian split squats. Uh, these, I'm just emphasize the eccentric today. So I just went four seconds on the way down um, and that totally mullered my legs. Uh, so I started at 24 and then ended up down at whatever it says there. Um, but no, that, that felt good. It's feeling like my legs are feeling a lot more even. My tibialis anterior got absolutely smashed on that supporting leg. 
doms so bad and I can hardly squat properly to be honest and tearing the front of my shin is just mullered then doing some horizontal pulls just doing low rows at the moment on the cable I'll change that up every month just different horizontal pulling work just to keep it varied but again I started off at like 50 kilos and then just dropped down as I got fatigued just doing like a drop set just to get a pump on my back uh, which is helping and then finished up with some back extension work again uh, I kind of set a timer so 40 seconds I did 12 reps and then whatever was left I just held as an isometric so that was the killer and when I'm in that isometric I'm not just trying to hold I'm just pulsing in and out of tension so also imagining like an elastic you know when you put tension on an elastic band and you're just taking oh, just slightly off and on tension just a little bit less a little bit more tension just working that little pulse all right, I'll see you back for the deload week.